This is Super Tribe with episode 25. You're on approach. Wait, no, that's not sponsorship. Hello, Captain. On Approach is a weekly flight sim and aviation enthusiast podcast covering the week's top user submitted stories and news on the Skylounge.tv. Welcome aboard, everyone. Uh, a very special, special show today as we introduce uh, the newest host to the Skylounge.tv family, Mr. Super Thrive. Super Thrive. Hello. Hello, He's hello, thriving. hello. He's thriving. What are you thriving on? Oh, you you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> solo. He's, he's, he's thriving on solo. So this is a beautiful thing, what we're looking at now. I mean, what I've come to realize is uh, just how international we are. Uh, I don't think we've ever really gone down the bubbles and, and checked in. Um, but let's do that now. So uh, from the top... Uh, OMG Edson checking in from San Francisco, California. Then we have Mr. Mr. Kevin, aka Live Sparks. Yeah, from uh, Montreal, Canada, on the East Coast. And Mr. Super Thrive from uh, Northern Norway. And Mr. Sparks. I oh, yeah, Mr. Sparks. Hello, good day, good evening. Checking in from not so sunny London. England. <laughs> Tooting. <laughs> Tooting. He doesn't want to say it. He doesn't want to say he's from Tooting. All right. South London. That is South London. And Mr. <laughs> Crawley. I am checking in from very close to Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire, England. That sounds With a Scottish so, accent. That sounds that so sounds distinguished. <laughs> and Mr. Pear. I'm checking in from space. Outer space. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you're a spaceman. Yes, is course. that I knew is it. that is that what you're actually doing when you're leaning back? You're actually preparing for your launch sequence, yes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the training. Training for a launch sequence. Look at this guy. Released prepare 3D version 4.0 hotfix number one. The P3D hey. team is excited to announce the first hotfix update to P3D version 4. It can be up it can be downloaded immediately from the purchase download section. Uh, I think most important in this is the memory leak fix that has been put into place. Um, there are a couple of other things listed in here, a lot of stuff on VR. Um, and then I noticed one which drives me insane, well, drove me insane. Which was, gosh, 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 ha ha. The select yeah. airport yes. views iCal box is now above. Like, who goes in and types in the city first? Like, yeah. So yeah. they finally moved the iCal to the top. So in, in, when, in the screen where you select your airport, you just type in the iCal. The stupid thing is that now you type in the iCal, and at the bottom, the last awesome. option <laughs> is, is what gate would you like? And it's like, you know, when are we going to get to the point of dynamic menus? Uh, Kevin's going to chime in on this one big time. Like, wouldn't it be beautiful if we put in the iCal and then the next thing down is, oh, okay, well, where would you like to spawn at that iCal? I would destroy this freaking UI and rebuild right? it. I would, totally would. <laughs> Look at what Laminar did with x -Plane. And that's totally the right way of doing it. And I just don't know what goes through uh, Lockheed Martin's mind when they build those menus. It's uh, just illogical. You know, it's not well built. It's not well designed. You know yes, it works. Fix. Yes, it works. But we already talked about it on the on the show previously, right? You know right? what I didn't fix, which really annoys me. Oh, what? everything else. <laughs> He's putting the plus and the minus the wrong way around. Yes, Come that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> in the in the date in the date selection, they have plus before minus instead of minus. It just it's. I stupid. never noticed that. It does it. It drives me insane. When you notice it, you'll never unnotice it. I'll build You'll a different menu see. like that lives outside of it. And I would use it. Regenerate a flight. <laughs> I would I use a, do a, that. I would use a launcher. I would use a, a beautiful P3D launcher. Yes. Yeah. Get on. Dynamic it. airport selection into it. Yes. Everything would be perfect. Yes. Yeah. Give it to me. So this just came out under an hour ago. 
how many have installed it? Uh, chime in if you have and you have yes. any feedback. This I'm the, the only one that needs to install the first, and I'm the last one to install it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? It's the first, it's the first hot fix that I've installed that doesn't break Active Sky. Personally, on my own system, I'm seeing uh, a decent performance increase on it. Very nice, very nice. I loaded up at KSFO uh, with AI traffic and saw a little bump as well. Not a significant bump, but you can't ask for too much at KSFO with uh, Flight Beams HD, the um, uh, Aerosoft San Francisco, all the airports in the region, and AI. You, you can't ask for too much. But I did see a, a, a little bump uh, in performance, so I'll, I'll take that as a plus for sure. On the aircraft selection, the little favorites button is back. So you just click the star and only your favorites show. Yeah, oh, I'm, nice. I'm very happy for that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because some people f like to fly, you know, very regimented. They're going to fly the same thing. Like Pear always flies that, that one single registration of Norwegian. Look at him. He's sleeping already, guys. Look at this shit. <laughs> I do not. You have seen I fly several different registrations. Don't get... <laughs> don't get me going here. He's sleeping. Hey, don't, don't leave your cargo door open, Mister. Oh, 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 don't, get your, don't get your cargo door in a in a cargo door in a mix. Yeah. So, fun fact today, Mister Mister Pear was doing a show and uh, did depart the airport with his cargo door open. But but in your defense, you did execute one beautiful emergency turnaround and landing. Yeah. You did make a few right-hand turns, though, so all the cargo that was in there emptied out. But <laughs> <laughs> he got fired while on the ground. He, he turned around. And, he turned around and did it again. He went right back into the air and completed the flight like a boss. He couldn't. With no he, go -go. he couldn't leave the, the the stream as the end. He couldn't get there and not return. He had to redeem himself because that's the kind of guy Pear is. Am I right, Pear? Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. A professional, all the way. Join FS multiplayer client goes payware. We revisit this one again. Uh, as last week, it was announced that uh, the Join FS client went payware, right? So immediately after this happened, uh, and we re reported on this last week, immediately after this happened, um, Things disappeared, and that takes us straight into the very next one, uh, which is JoinFS is no more. Uh, this one posted by Mr. BRZ, Mr. Kevin, and uh, you know we went to the website the next morning, and the website was down. There was a note there that said the software known as JoinFS is no longer in development. Peter has decided to call it a day on the project and move on to other things. It was a lot of fun. Thanks legacy version here um but then it got worse well it, it got worse before it got better then the entire site itself disappeared like he took down all directories all images like it was gone uh so i reached out to peter for comment and you know we we had a couple of exchanges back and forth and i think it, he came around kind of full circle and it's back again this is such an incredible tool please dude don't make it go away it's amazing we've officially switched to this in a big announcement saying we ditched fs cloud we're embracing this you know fully but gosh it's scary to be in an industry where developers pop up and disappear i can just pull the plug they pull yeah, the plug God. right it's a it's a change of heart that's so instant and i feel like that's such a strong topic of conversation um, you know, it's, it's very scary to invest in something. I mean, you know, a few hours earlier, he's like, this is gone payware, $15. So what about the people that did buy it? You know, I'm sure he's a good guy and gave a refund. That's cool and all, but like, what about the image, right? What about the brand? What about the appearance of like, I'm a professional and like, you have to worry about those things to some extent. I mean, I, I don't know Peter from Adam. <laughs> I don't yeah, know Adam either. Nice. But, you know, uh, if, if he's actually watching and he's listening, I would just say, you know, if you need to take a break and you need to step back, then do it, man. But honestly, it's a, a an absolutely fantastic piece of software, and I think it should be out there for everyone to enjoy. If you do decide to go payware one down, 
one day down the low down the road you can take my money we enjoy a lot of things for free but i know that for all of us there are a few things that are free that we're like dude i would so pay for this you know, a tool like this is is that you know we have uh aviator moser with free mesh x you know another amazing service to the community at any point in time if he were to decide to say you know what i'm gonna go payware with this that's cool man take the monies you know i think that our yeah, industry that, is mature enough the, 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 i think the, i think the underlying thing is though obviously he was getting stressed out that's why he stepped away pulled it because he was getting stressed out or getting a negative feedback from other customers saying well, why should i have to pay for it when i've been using it and stuff fuck them yeah do what you do do what you think is best you're you're the guy behind behind the works if you've got five people on there paying for it have five people on there paying for it good deal it, uh keep it at it mr peter it would be better to have 200 people on there paying for it but i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> I still think it's it's so new and unknown for a lot of people still that uh, you just got to give it time. PMDG, the latest info. This one submitted by Mr. Smurf John. PMDG released a statement on their forums today. Uh, release dates expected, not definite. Link below. Let's have a peek over at the AV Sim forum. Uh, Queen of Disguise 2 has been released. The 737 has been released. Sorry, the, ah, don't get excited. The 777 has been released. Uh, the expansion package has not yet been released, but they were waiting for the V4 hotfix, well, that, which I think came that's out the, today. That, that, bit, that bit of block of text is the same. It's the it's the statement below you need to be reading, Mr. Edson. Yeah, there's a, there's a section of the, right at the bottom, uh, 23rd of June. He makes a statement there as well. What am I missing? Would you like to read it? <laughs> Where? Uh, gents, on the 23rd of June 17, I have updated the release of timeline expectations of the P3D V4 compatibility 77W. And I have wide expects, expected release of Windows for the NGX. It is very, it, the, the NGX is a very old product and its 64 generation has taken a bit longer than we expected. The good news is that we anticipate having it mostly ready for testing next week, finally. Ah, you could have just said the next post. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm looking down below and I'm thinking like down here somewhere, like where am I seeing something? Okay, so down the next post. Okay, it's no different. Seems like uh, we're we're looking at probably a good you know week out maybe for the NGX. Yeah, that's it's gonna for be the, the hot yeah. fix is official now, so I'm sure they're gonna get to testing. If they gangsta, it, it'll be out by uh, by the end of the week. I love the way they say it's a very old product when they've just literally rebooted it. Uh, you know what it is though? Is it aren't aren't they gonna make a new version at all? NGX version two expected next year. That's what I thought. So they have to start kind of playing that card from the marketing side already. Yes. Well, that plane is is old. It's it's a 2009 airplane. Yeah. Think about wow. it. But they rebooted it not too long ago. What a few months ago when yeah, you introduced the, the weather radar and stuff. Yeah, but it's all the same code. Yeah. I guess nothing. So. They optimize it. They optimize the few tricks that they learned from all the, all the other airplane. But at its core, it's nearly 10 years old. It's fantastic, it's, though. What a fantastic! And it's still plane. a fantastic aircraft. And Mr. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mr. Randazzo, if you if you watch it, please, 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 MD11 reboot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Can you imagine what the the new 737 will look like? Wow, that's going to be amazing. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Mr. Smurf John. NGIS is no more. This one submitted by BRZ. I'll let you take the lead on this one. Yeah, sure. A few years ago, maybe years ago, um, there was a new a new guy in town that um, started this project this project to create a new simulation platform, flight sim platform. Uh, he used a tech demo from I think Unreal Engine. It looked really nice and very promising. There was just one issue with it, is that they did not develop it. It was actually a demo from, from the actual engine uh, 
programmers and, and technology developers uh, themselves. So they tried to put a team together and started working on things. But right off the bat, most of the people knew in the community that this was going to be dead in the water or had very high doubts about it because of the actual costs into developing a platform like this. Um, so, well, we got confirmation today that uh, it's, uh, the development has stopped on it. And uh, yeah, it was, it was predictable. The engine looked beautiful. Uh, an Unreal uh, engine-based simulation would have been crazy, crazy awesome. But it's it's an immense project to to do, and uh, I think a lot of people underestimate the amount of resources required to build a platform like this to compete with the ones that we have right now that, that have been there for like years and years into development to to where they are today. I remember this. It even had ground stuff, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it was Things very detailed. Driving on the ground. Was it Utera? Something it's just not Utera. hit Terra engine. No, no, it's, no? it's not Utera. And Utera, Utera is another one that's, ah, that's okay. really interesting and very promising. Um, but this this one was not based on Utera. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I think I made my comment is a queen.mp3 because another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> They announced this a few years ago, probably even before Infinite Flight was around. And see how far Infinite Flight has come. Mm, yeah. We are nearing a full them. world simulation for that. Yeah, and, uh, that's true. It's totally doable. It's just you need the resources and the experience to do it. Dope Pat, PTA Sim Tweaks preset. This one submitted by Mr. Tarpoon. I'm glad he did. Uh, Topat is... I, I don't know. I don't know that I'm even saying this right, but it may be, maybe it's Topat. I don't know. Um, but uh, this is my... One of my favorite uh, PTA presets. So there's the, the pre-drag one, and then really he's right right up there with, with the pre-drag one is this Topat one. Uh, I came across this site today with a preset for sim tweaks. Nice looking web page with plenty of images. Let's go have a peek. Lots of eye candy here. So Thopat seems to go more for kind of a uh, almost a filmy kind of look. And I like that very much. Here's some shots. Is it just me? Or when I download those packages, it never looks the same in my sim <laughs> than what it it's, does on their it's, it's not. It's not you. <laughs> it's no. never like that. Yeah. It's definitely a nice looking preset. You know, I like it. It's 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 less orange than the um, than the ultimate realism pack. This one is definitely just a nice clean colors. I mean, look at the white. The white is white. You know, the yellow is yellow. The orange is orange. Um, it's a it's a it's a real nice preset. I, I highly advise those of you out there that are using uh, the Sim Tweaks tool uh, to head out and, and give this one a shot. You've got before, so this is completely default, and then after. Yep. That's good. You know, good before demo. and then after. I love that. <clears throat> super, super clean. Um, it also is optimized for NVTEX. I'm just going to call it that from now on. NVTEX. And so it's recommended that you use it, but it's not at all um, a requirement. So you just Very go nice listen to your PTA tool? Yes. You import it into your, uh, your SimTweaks PTA tool. And that's it. Apply it and right. all done. Thank you for that, Mr. Tarpoon. Oh, and Mr. Super Thrive, you've been working on one as well. He's got yeah, yeah, I haven't updated well. it in a long time, but uh, I'm continuously oh, fiddling with it myself. That's the problem, is that you get lost. It's an addiction. <laughs> it is. You yes. never you never get satisfied. It's always something to fix. Always. Yeah. Always something. I just, all, all I got out of that was Mr. Super Thrive likes to fiddle with himself. <laughs> <laughs> Another Fly Tampa KLAS preview image. We have looked at this one before, but damn it, we're gonna look at this one again because this is absolutely incredible. Uh, taking us over to their Facebook page to have a peek at the MGM. Look 
once again at this beauty. I think you can do full screen here. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Feel like I'm it's in good. Vegas. I have my dose of Vegas now. That's perfect. I needed that. And this just shows again that Troy yeah. Tampa is hands down the best airport developer out there. I Blue Yonder announces KPDX Portland International Airport. This one over at uh, the I Blue Yonder page. This one was announced at uh, Flight SimCon. Look Which at all finished. of that detail. I would pick this one up. Uh, not just because of Flight Beam. I do like the way Flight Beam implement this stuff as well. But I feel oh, like I do. Portland. I fly up to Portland and, and the Pacific Northwest all the time. They use True Sky for their sky. That's for damn sure. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's a real, real photo, you numb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Those are not SIM clouds. <laughs> Just another way of getting us to say, take my money. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that one as well myself. This is a great, uh, great region is the Pacific Northwest and Portland is an awesome approach. Lots of bridges as you come in. Also from I Blue Yonder announcing the Dallas Love Field. Another very cool one. This one is coming directly from the I Blue Yonder camp and it looks like they're also doing downtown. So those of you that don't know Dallas, Dallas has some gorgeous buildings inbound. Um, lots of them have awesome night lighting. It's almost like a like a mini Vegas even. So I hope that the night lighting is is accurately represented here on approach because they're it's just gorgeous coming into this airport at night. But some early development shots hinting at the downtown area being done. So that's the city exciting. is flooded with it <laughs> with water up up there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So it's planned for the future. Beautiful. Man. A lot of detail work going into this for sure. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and just this this is, you know, opening up 64 bit has been able to do with these developers now. They can really go to town on their, their, their texturing and their details. The amount of detail in the 3D and those things. Jesus Christ. Is this only one guy doing all that? One guy. I think actually, like I think it's a small team. I think it's a small, small team. team yeah. yeah. When those three D objects don't have textures on them, it seems like it, we see more details and we appreciate more the the yeah. amount of work that goes into it. Yeah, for sure, because we get to see every angle that's actually an angle yeah. and not just mm -hmm. a texture. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, that's and a true lot sky of detail again. work here. True sky. <laughs> And I would like to, I'd like to put a shout out to the developers uh, of uh, I Blue Yonder and uh, Flight Beam and those companies that do this. It's, please, can we have more open hangers? Or yes. hangers we can open. Or hangers we can open because there's nothing worse than going to have to park up and you're just faced with doors. I agree. I agree. Give us some more open hangers. Yeah, definitely. If you don't Stuffed have the tech. The yeah, with some stuff scattered inside. Like, if you don't have the capability to actually let us open them, that's cool. Just leave them open all the time. Um, that would definitely be awesome. So I had the chance of, uh, to meet Bill in person at Flight SimCon. Great guy. And, uh, you know, I think I, I had the pleasure of thanking him in person for putting out some beautiful, beautiful sceneries. You have Nantucket uh, from I Blue Yonder. You have the freeware Heron's Nest, which just Heron's got updated nest. to V2. That's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful area to fly in. So That's V4 yeah. ready now, isn't it? It's V4 yes. ready as well, yep. Cielo Sim announces Florida Keys Marathon Airport, KMTH. Do they run the runway every morning? Hmm? Do they, marathon? Do they, do they do <laughs> marathon on the runway every morning? Kevin made a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Cielo Sim is proud to announce the development of Florida Keys Marathon Airport for P3D and FSX. The scenery will be fully compatible with all the latest features in V4. More info coming soon. Love More really fun. nice detail work. Look at the, all the railing work. Super, super nice. Dynamic lighting. Dynamic lighting. Yeah, let's see what we can. <laughs> Whoa, did somebody ask for K Oak? Yeah, yes, yes. 
Good job, Sal. Please, <laughs> please, please give us Kaok. Please. Um, <clears throat> I can say one thing that I'm fairly certain that the day that this gets released and I go to buy it, uh, that it'll probably be uh, number one on Sim Market. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This mug was number one on Sim Market as well. Actually, actually, I think if you go to Sim Market, I do believe FSU OPC version uh, four. three is it version four is number one. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure yeah, Elvis. Today. I'm pretty sure Elvis Presley is still number one at Sim Market. <laughs> 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 uh, thank you, Cielo Sim. I wonder if they're Latinos, because Cielo means sky. Maybe it's just a cool sounding word to them. I don't know. But keep up the great work. I have their Palo Alto and it's absolutely beautiful. Even though Palo Alto is basically a, a, a big parking lot. Of, of Yeah, it's like a car park of airplanes. Uh, all the guys fly their, guys and gals, uh, fly their planes in to go to work at Google, Facebook, etc., etc. That's all based down there in Silicon Valley. The Palo Alto airport is basically a staging ground for all the guys uh, that fly in there. So... They're, they're, cool they're the area. cheap ones that can't afford to fly into KSQL. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That you know who does fly in that KSQL is uh, the uh, CEO of Oracle. So yes, you, you're right about that, right? You're right about that. He flies in in a private jet because Oracle is right there. So and and now, do you see the connection? Yeah, SQL, SQL database, Oracle. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Welcome to oh, the I got, that. Bribe I got, that. I, that. I got that straight away. Welcome to Silicon Valley, boys. Fresh Turbulent Designs, KIDA, Idaho Falls Previews. This is another one that's on my radar, too. Uh, Idaho Falls is in a very good location. Uh, this is Turbulent Designs, who recently did the Bellingham uh, Airport. Oh my gosh, I said <laughs> Bellingham and my friend Amano pops up on my Facebook and he's in Bellingham. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> of all the places in the world. How great. Hello, Amano. Uh, Amano is actually also the designer of the Sky Lounge logo. So he nice. is a, he's a, a world-known uh, pinup artist, amazing, talented guy. Uh, so what an interesting link that just happened in the universe right here. Check this out. Looking real good as well. Idaho Falls. I'm not looking at my Facebook because I used to go out with a girl from Idaho Falls. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I don't want her popping up on my Facebook because so I'll keep it well away. <laughs> yeah. Now that you've thought it, the universe will transmit it through your iPhone. Siri is listening. So Siri will tell Google servers that you just mentioned Idaho Falls and girlfriend. Google servers will sync with Facebook servers and know that you had an ex-girlfriend in Idaho Falls and guess what's going to happen, my friend? You're yeah. going to log into Facebook and it'll say, people you may know. Boom, number one. <laughs> That's it exactly. Oh, look at that detail work once again. Nice. Man, they didn't have to put in the power, but power junction here. Actually, but they I, did. I, I picked up, uh, we talked about it last week, the uh, KBMS. Uh, up in Michigan. the Bellingham? Oh, the Michigan KMBS. Yeah. Oh, it is beautiful. I still I love have flying it. in there now. I love flying in there. I, there's nothing, you know. Why, why am I flying in Michigan? There's, you know, you've got. I know you've got um, a couple of big cities down the way, yeah. but there's nothing up there. Oh, I tell you, it's such a beautiful airport. I love flying in there. Dude, they have a taco truck in here. Look. <laughs> oh, don't, don't don't tell Wicker. Yeah. No, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. Turbulent Designs yeah. is so high on the list, man. Let me tell you. Keep yeah. an eye out for this one, folks. Definitely. They're, definitely. They're a very big and up and coming company, and I love this stuff so far. Yep. When they build the library that Orbex has, they're on that level. They just need to build that library, man. And they're moving and fast. The thing, is, the thing is, with them as well, is that they're, they're building obscure airports nothing yeah. you know they're not the common you're, you're not going to find something in new york or whatever you might find something in new york state that's out the way that you would never have flown into and they'll build an airport there yeah number one on sim market award for sure number one on sim market. <laughs> <laughs> oh Keep and the good work guys disclaimer this is not sponsorship these were given out 
as the number one mug uh, at Flight SimCon <laughs> to attendees. <laughs> The and only I, mug. And and I gotta tell you, it would have been brilliant if they did put in top seller thing inside. They just put top seller. Oh, a new one from Orb X. A new one from Orb. These are always exciting because they always include a ton of previews. Introducing Kern Valley, the gateway to California Adventure. I have flown this in this airport uh, in standard FTX Global as well, and it's beautifully rendered already. This takes it to another level with the full Orbex treatment. L05 wow. Kern Valley for FTX Southern California. You like the bent prop? Beautiful. <laughs> They're really going California, aren't they, at the moment? Yes! Uh, more, more. I don't care anymore. No more ooms? Give me more California. Please, <laughs> more. Look at this. Yes. This is the. These are the airports that just touch... I was going to say touch you, but no. <laughs> touch your heart. Like, these are the ones that the, the approaches are just beautiful. You do them at sunset or at, or at dawn, you know. It's just... It's, uh, Memories are made. They're the ones like that this. touches your wheel. Yes, they touch your wheel. <laughs> I love this detail. The weather forecasting yeah. stone. The weather forecasting Which stone. stone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, stone. Stone is wet. Rain. Stone is dry. Not raining. Uh, sh shadows on ground. Sunny. Uh, white on top. Snowy. Uh, uh, can't. What was it? Uh, can't see stone. Foggy. <laughs> <laughs> stone jumping up and down. Earthquake. Uh, stone. Stone something. Stone gone. Stone gone. Tornado. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I can't. I can't. Believe they put the NOAA logo on it. Yeah, dude. The details. Believe. The details there. One hundred percent. And then attention dog owners, pick up after your dogs. Thank you. So they gotta take Tootsie out to walk here. <laughs> oh, two poops, it, Tootsie. It, two, it was two poops, Tootsie. It was written in dog language too. Oh my God! Yeah. Attention dogs, grr, bark, woof. Good dog. <laughs> <laughs> So good. This is a must buy, man. So $100 hamburgers here because they have a nice little snack shack. This is exactly the type of places that the guys fly when they need that $100 hamburger. I'm not seeing the, the runway yet. The grill is you, uh, you already get, going. Do you get gold leaf in that $100? Hamburger? No, it's $100 because that's how much it costs for you oh, to get there with fuel. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, Love that. coming up off the uh, the reservoir. Beautiful. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, sweet spot. Yeah. Java is so good. Yes. Has it actually, so has it actually got a runway? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, has it got a runway? <laughs> Approach. Let's see if we can see the. Uh, I'm guessing it's over here. Yeah, maybe it's not done yet, so they, they don't show. Ah, it. there we are. There we are. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. look at that. So that would be here, yes, for sure. Yeah. Wow. This is a sure buy. This is a must buy, man. Keep your eyes out for this one from uh, from the folks at Orbex. Orbex, please send one over to test. Want to fly this I bad do. boy? Please. I, I do. I do hope it's V4 ready. Oh, Unlike, of course. Other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for the clip of the week. Clip of the week. Clip of the week. Oh, come on. Really? I'm clip of the week? Clip by yeah. Sparks? Yeah. Yep. What is this? Ah, uh, yes. No, I know. No, <laughs> oh, yes. no. Yes. <laughs> Let's see if you got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna glide this up onto the beach. I see. Oh! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome to Quick. Uh, Thank you, thank you, Mr. Sparky. So this was in the new Milviz Beaver. <laughs> now V4 ready, by the that's way. That's what you do when you don't have reversers. Yeah, seriously. Ah, oh, and yeah, yeah. I, I to get the good shot, I switched to the outside <laughs> rear-facing camera, and I didn't realize I was that close to land. Oh, oh, and there's the sirens already. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for you. <laughs> All right, folks, and now it's time to move on to worth mentioning. This is kind of like the speed round, really. So, guys down below, if there's anything you want to chime in on, you got to be quick because we're going to move fast through this and get to the end. These are updates. These are releases on things we've already covered and shown in detail. So, it's just kind of worth mentioning. You have the links down below in the show notes. If you need more info, you go down and you click the link. It's pretty straightforward. Navdata Pro Cycle 1707 now available from Aerosoft. Thank you. Yes. If you use it, you know it. If you use it, you know it. Captain Sim V4 updates are inbound. There's been a little trickle of news from the Captain Sim camp. So head over to the link and see if there's anything uh, updated. That's good, by I the way. I don't care. You don't care? I like the Captain Sim stuff. They have my 732. Yeah, I don't care either. Uh, <laughs> explain. Crap shit. Explain 11.02 RC1 released. Halais, says Mr. Pear. Mr. Pear, a quick note. Did it fix performance as they promised? Yes, no. I haven't tested it yet. Oh, my God. I did God. notice uh, it uh, introduced... Uh, yeah, it fixed a lot of stuff, but it also uh, introduced new bugs. So oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, the first batch of Alabeo planes updated to V4. This is exciting. We're finally starting to not just hear stuff out of the Alabeo Carinado camp, but they're actually starting to deliver stuff. Four planes delivered in the first batch. No, five planes in the first batch, I think. Followed quickly by the second batch available of Alabeo planes into V4. So if you've got a lot of Alabeo planes, head over and check out both lists. Air Hauler 2, now updated for V4. The Milvis Beaver goes V4 compatible. It is now ready and flyable as you saw in the clip of the week. Uh, Just Sim EDDL Dusseldorf is now released and available at Sim Market. And it is number one. Uh, released also is the Icarus Key West International for X-Plane. Mr. Pear, do you have this one? This is super I don't have, have it, but uh, I have looked at it. It looks uh, very good. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Um, the B1900 HD from Coronado, now X Plane 11 ready and available. Uh, Virtual Call CRJ series for P3D is now out. This is the, uh, the CRJ that's kind of the aerosoft alternative i guess you could say uh that's out now i scooped it up just before the show i might have more thoughts on it next week but from what i read the reviews are mixed if you're a systems guy you're gonna hate it if you're a visuals guy you're gonna like it it's pretty much what i found out from the reviews i'm a visuals guy if you are like me you might like it go check it out 25 bucks aspen extended has been updated by aerosoft to 1.29 more turbulent designs previews on their v4 updates uh that includes stuff like big bear lake etc i blew yonder heron's nest is also ready for download v4 ready a small pmdg 777 update in the ops center if you own it you probably already know about it oh look the b1900 explain <laughs> again <laughs> have you seen though hold on have you oh. seen the have you seen the news air new zealand uh, photo that they posted, Caronado, about the B1900 on no. the left. No. Go on the Caronado Facebook page. Totally worth the time. Wow. They look That's nice. in Sim? That's in Sim. Yep. And there are more pictures in the link I sent you. Nah. No, no, no. That's in Sim? That's in Sim. Of a sim. Look at me. Pear's basically sleeping on the show. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I'm, I'm setting him up. I'm even setting him up and he still doesn't react. I'm like, that's in sim. This is when he's supposed to do this in slow motion. Look, yeah, he goes, it's, it's, he goes like this. 
That pilot looks like yeah. Yes, yes. X Plane 11, yes. It's normal. Yes, it's normal. Yes. It's Nothing full special. PBR ready. <laughs> full PBR ready. It's taking advantage of, of all the, the, the new stuff X Plane has to deliver, you know. So. This looks amazing. Does this one excite you, Pear? Looks very good. Damn. Doesn't excite me when I know I have to fork up a new purchase yeah, when I already again. have bought it. Yeah, I have to buy it again, and I will. I will buy a few of my favorites. I will, but I will not go and pick up the entire fleet like I did the last time. I might pick it up when it drops on sale. Yes, they mm. never have sales. They do. Yeah. They have Christmas oh, they sales do, yeah. every year. They have Christmas. Oh, they want one a year. <laughs> yeah, I want to And last but not least, the Ultimate P3D V4 add-on update compatibility list. As always, feeding you the latest information and all the stuff we can't cover on the show that are updates, they're all listed here. And it all keeps growing. of the stuff. And it keeps growing. Lots of great activity from the community. This is a community-supported list. You put your update, you put the source for your update, we verify it, we make it on the list. As far as I can tell, this is absolutely hands down the most comprehensive list that I have seen. And it's updated religiously. So if you have news for us, by all means, continue uh, to post it on the website for us to cover here on Approach. If you have some V4 updates, feel free to post it in this thread as well. How Ladies and gentlemen... We have we have 24, uh, pages, 24 pages. Wow. 24 wow, pages and still running. 24 pages. Um, 39,000 views on it. You know, so it's just it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Um, I also want to throw out one last thank you. Uh, this is an introduction to something completely new we're doing for our patrons at the Gold Club sponsor level. Uh, for immediate release, new Sky Lounge sponsor, Steve's <laughs> Redneck Salvage. Um, what this is, is a creative way that we here at the Sky Lounge thank our sponsors that are supporting the show at the sponsor level. Um, Mr. Steve does not have an actual business. However, as a very creative way for us to thank him at every possible opportunity we can, we've created a business and brand for Mr. Steve based on his requirements and something he feels you know would be appropriate uh we have created uh, steve's redneck salvage his logo shows up on all our web properties <laughs> his logo shows up on our on our crates in liveries um we work it into the show as well so you know for example uh, when when uh, mr pear forgot to close his door uh today uh we Immediately called on Steve's Redneck Salvage to have to find some spare parts because I'm sure something is broken. Um, but Mr. Simmons, thank you very much. Um, we look forward to uh, your continued support and doing everything we can to show our thanks. Uh, if you want more info, head over to Game Wisp and check out the many options. You can start with as little as $5 a month to support the community. And uh, we, th we thank you because every little bit helps. We thank each and every one of you. This show and all of the Sky Lounge is community supported. So much love uh, to our patrons out there. And uh, much love to everyone that watches the show. And once again, a welcome aboard to our newest host, Mr. Super Thrive. Super Thrive. Super Thrive. Looking forward to it, man. You, Looking forward to it. From the San Francisco headquarters, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up another episode of On Approach. Until next time, everyone, Sky Five.